Hey guys, we're going to talk about a new concept today with our suffix. And the suffix we've been talking about is suffix s. <coughs> and we've talked about how it means plural, more than one. Well, today we're going to learn out learn that it just doesn't always mean plural. Before we get started though, we need to remember that when reading a word with a suffix we read the base word first, then the whole word. So you're gonna read the base word, then the whole word. Let's see what our first word is. Our first word, let's tap it out. Ch, I, N, chin, chins. Chins is plural. It means more than one, right? Let's look at the next one. Sh, uh, t, shuts. Shuts means something that someone's doing right now. She shuts the door. Okay. So if you hear a noise and you say, what was that noise? And I say, oh, it's Samuel. He always shuts his door before he goes to bed. That means he's shutting it right now because he's going to bed. So sometimes S can give it a plural, meaning more than one, and sometimes it can make it mean something that's going on right now. We call that present tense. So we're gonna read these words and we're gonna figure out if they're plural or present tense. So um, have your teacher call on someone to read the first word. You're gonna tap it out. I should see everybody tapping it out, even if you're not the one reading it. Everyone should be tapping it out. Remember, tap the base first. Read the base, then read the whole word, okay? So go ahead and read that first word. That's right, the first word is sips. If you think it's plural, you're gonna put a thumbs up. If you think it's something that's happening right now, you're gonna put a thumbs down. So thumbs up for plural, present, meaning right now, thumbs down. Ready? One, two, three. She sips her water. And you know what? I can actually think of a way that it would also be plural. So really in this case, no one was wrong because have you ever stood behind someone at the drinking fountain who takes like 37 sips of water as you're waiting for your turn? So sips could be how many they're taking of the water. It could also mean somebody taking a sip of water right now. So let's look at the next one. Sorry, I have to get in position so I can show you. So someone read that next word for us. That's right, the word is rocks. So rocks can mean more than one rock. So that's plural, but I wanna show you something. If I am rocking back and forth, she rocks the baby to sleep. That's something I might be doing right now. I'm rocking the baby, right? Like in a rocking chair. She rocks the baby to sleep. Let's look at the next one. Go ahead and pick someone to read that word. That's right. The word is rugs. And rugs in this case, is that going to be plural or present? Plural or present. Give me a thumbs up for plural and a thumbs down for present. One, two, three. Plural, yeah, more than one rug, right? I have many rugs in my kitchen. Let's go to the next one. Somebody read this word. And let's see about this word. This word was pens. Now, this one's also tricky because I'm going to give use you in a set use it in a sentence and I want you to tell me if it's present or plural. She has many pens. She has many pens. Is that going to be plural or is it going to be present? Plural or present? One, two, three. Plural. Yeah, right. More than one. But listen, this. You could say she pens up the dog before she goes to school. That's what you say if you're like putting them in a crate or something. Sometimes that's called a pen. You're, you 
she pens up the dog. Okay. Let's look at the next word. Someone read that word for us. That word is shuts, right? We've already read that word. We've already talked about that word. Let's go to the last word. This is the word. Well, sorry, somebody needs to read it. You're right. This is the word hills. Is hills plural or is it present? Let me see. One, two, three. Yeah, hills means more than one hill. We had to go over lots of hills or on a roller coaster. I love it when there's lots of hills. Okay, so now we're gonna do echo find letter. So if you have your board, you can get it out. If you don't have a board, you're just gonna point to the screen for echo, echo find letters, but for words, you're gonna need something to write with if you don't have a board. Um, whether it's a whiteboard or a piece of paper, whatever you need, go ahead and get that, and then you guys can keep going. Okay, before we get started, well, Here's the board, not before we get started. I'm gonna say the sound, I need you to repeat the sound. You're gonna repeat the sound. I want you guys to point to the letter and tell me what letter says Z. What letter or letters say Z? Everybody say Z, then point. Okay, get ready to yell out the answer, ready? One, two, three. Yeah, you should have said Z and S, right? They both say Z. Okay, here's my next one. What letter says w? Everybody say w. Point to the letter that says w. On the count of three, yell it out. One, two, three. Yeah, I hope I heard W and WH from everyone. Because our digraph WH also says w. What letter says mmm? Everybody say mmm. Point to it and tell me what letter says mmm. That's right, V says mmm. Last one, point to what says th. Everybody say th. Then point to it and tell me the letter names. That's right, TH, TH says Great. Now you need, um, if you have your board, you can use it. Otherwise, you need something to write with. Okay, we are going to spell words. Remember, when you spell a word, you write the base word first, then you add the suffix. Okay, so you're going to tap out the base word, write the base word, and then add the suffix. On um, when we took our practice the other day, some people forgot to write their suffix. They wrote the base word and it was beautiful, but they forgot the suffix. So make sure you don't forget. Okay, the first word is locks. Everybody say locks. Let's tap it. Lock. Write the base word, then add the suffix. Don't forget to mark the word. You know what? Never mind. You don't have to mark the word because if you're using a board, your letter board, you can't mark it. Sorry. So used to having you mark everything. So don't worry about um, marking it. Just go ahead and write locks. Okay, let's check it. Locks is spelled L-O-C-K-S. Locks. And the base is lock and the suffix is S. Now, not all my words are going to have suffixes. My next word is nan, nan. Let's tap it out, n-an, nan is a name. Let's say it one more time, nan, let's tap it, n-an. Say the letter names, write it, give us a thumbs up. And I told you it was a name, so even though I can't do it on my board, I need you, if you're writing it, to make sure you put a capital letter. If you're using a board, you can't do that because you only have lowercase letters. But if you're writing it, hopefully you remember to write a capital letter. 
The next, next word is tugs. Everybody say tugs. Let's tap it. T Ug. Say the letter names, write the base word, then add your suffix. Okay, let's check it. Tugs is T-U-G-S. Last word is the word mass. Everybody say mass. Let's tap it. M -a -s. Write the letter or say the letter names and write the word and give your teacher a thumbs up. Okay, let's check it. Mass is M-A-S-S. -S -S. Right, that's the floss rule where we double our bonus letter, right? After a short vowel, we double F, L, S, and Z. So, A ah is a short vowel, so we need two S's. Mass. Awesome job. Now we're going to go on to dictation. If you have um, your board, go ahead and get it. If not, just use a piece of paper, no worries. Okay, the first sound I want you to write is zzz. Everybody say zzz. Write it, give a thumbs up. Let's check. Zzz should be written Z and S. The next sound we're going to do is qu. Everybody say qu. Write it and then give your teacher a thumbs up. Let's check to see how you spelled. Q, U, yeah, buddy letters. Q doesn't go anywhere in English without the U. Q, U. The next thing I want you to write is W. Everybody say W. Write it and then give us a thumbs up. Let's see how you spelled W. W, comma, W, H. Awesome job. Now we're going to do three current words, okay? So remember, we're going to say the word, we're going to spell the base word first, and then you're going to add the suffix, okay? So the first word is wets, wets. Let's tap it, w et. Say the letter names, write it, mark it, and then give us a thumbs up. Let's check to see how you spelled wets. Oh, there's my reminder again. Spell the base word first, then add the suffix. Let's see how you spelled wets. W-E-T-S. Wets. Let's check the next one. Let's do the next word. Dabs. Dabs. Ready? D-A-B. Write it. Mark it. Give your teacher a thumbs up once you've written dabs. Let's check to see how you wrote it. D-A-B-S. Make sure your D and your B is going the correct way. Dabs. Okay, let's do the word zaps. Zaps. Z-A-P. Write it, mark it, and give your teacher a thumbs up. Okay, let's check to see how you spelled zaps. Whoops. I don't know where zaps went. Zaps is Z-A-P-S. You probably saw the next word, but the next review word is shell. Shell. Everybody write shell. Ready? Tap it out. Sh-E-L. Shells, actually. Let's do shells. Shells. So shells, let's check it. Shells is going to be S-H-E-L-L-S. -L -L -S. You're going to underline the base word shell. You need to underline the digraph, put a um, star above the bonus letter, and circle your suffix. Okay, the next word, our review word is fan. Everybody say fan. An. Write it, mark it, give us a thumbs up. Okay, let's check to see how you spelled fan. Fan is spelled F-A-N. 
box around the A and N because it's a glued sound, right? That's glued. All am and an are glued sounds. Okay, get ready. We're going to do a trick word, our first trick word. And remember, you cannot tap these out. You just have to say the letter names and write it. The first trick word is the word who. Everybody say who. Say the letter names, write it, and give us a thumbs up. Okay, let's check to see how you spelled who. Who is spelled W-H-O. Good job. Our last trick word is the word was. Everybody say was. Say the letter names, write it, give us a thumbs up. Okay, let's see how you spelled was. Was is spelled W-A-S, was. Awesome job. Okay, here's our sentence. There's only four words. There are six mops. There are six mops. And you can see that I've already circled the trick words for you. There are six mops. Go ahead and write it. Mark the things you need to mark and give your teacher a thumbs up. Okay, let's check to see how you wrote it. There are six mops. Mops has a suffix S on it, so we'd underline the base word and box the suffix. Great job today, guys.